Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and welcome back to Miraculous Monday. Now, I've gotten a lot of comments of you guys saying like, oh, call this series Miraculous Monday, because it's uh, the Miraculous Ladybug subreddit on a Monday. So, you know what? I was like, all right, that's a fantastic idea. So, we're going to call this Miraculous Monday. But, as always, uh, now this is a new series. This is the third episode of this series. So, um, if you like it, leave a like and, uh, oh, whoops, subscribe somehow, something like this. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. Uh, if you don't know what this is from, this is from a video coming soon, maybe. I don't know, you may never see it, but it's a, uh, it's, let's see. It's, if you have never seen Star Versus, you probably won't watch the video, but, um, yeah, just, just look forward to that video maybe later this week. But, uh, also, during that same video that I'm referencing, I came up with a good idea to show off some fan art. Now, uh, I'll show off fan art in both Reddit videos, so also in the Star vs. one, just so that people who watch the different shows, etc. So, this first piece of fan art we have is from Johnny Draws, so it looks very nice. Oh, and also, all of this fan art will go up on my fan art wall up there. So, yeah, and I usually post these on Instagram too. Uh, I've actually had these in my files for a really long time. I just never bothered to print them out except for when I printed out this uh, subscribe thing So that's why I never got to it. So this is from Johnny draw thing. I have the names up here. Uh, this one's from Ty gal Looks very nice This one's from Jen butterfly Looks also a very nice and this one is from the soup spy so Thanks all of you guys for your awesome fan art. If you want to like send me some, just go ahead and uh, Instagram and Twitter links down in the description below. Just, you know, like DM me or at me or something and I'll save it in my archives and then print it out for each new Reddit video. So yeah, you guys will go up on my wall and uh, yeah, so I'll just put this down here for now as well as, well, actually I keep the subscribe thing up here in case I need to plug it again. Uh, um, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this video. I'm gonna start on number 22 because I saw a couple memes and I wanted to go over the memes because I like the memes. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start with number 22. This is so true. Oh, we got a video. All the new Miraculous holders showing up to defeat one Wayham in a disco outfit. Yep. So a lot of these are for party crashes. Okay, so a lot of these things, uh, for those of you who don't know, I uh, record these on Saturday. So actually today the Puppeteer 2 came out. So if you haven't seen my video on that, go check that out. But uh, I don't expect there to be any memes and stuff for the Puppeteer 2, but next week there probably will be. So this week is probably gonna be Party Crasher stuff, and then next week will be the Puppeteer 2. So yeah, that's just kind of the format I think this is gonna have. There's a hole in the Aggressed Mansion gate that is big enough for a person to climb through. Doesn't seem very secure. Yeah, that's a pretty big hole, but then again, it's just cartoon logic, and I mean, who's really going to try to break in? You know what? Never mind. I also want to mention the top comment saying, yeah, but the security system includes rocket launchers, so it kind of evens out. That's a funny comment. Directed by Robert B. Wildy. Probably mispronounced that last name. Master Fu. I already took an enormous risk by putting two Miraculous into circulation. Until we've unlocked all the secrets of the spellbook, it's dangerous to allow any Miraculous to be out in the open for very long. Also, Master Fu, Oprah saying, You get a Miraculous. You get a Miraculous. <laughs> yes. You know what? I also thought the same thing. I was like, wow, Master Fu is really giving these things out. So, again, another Party Crush thing. If you haven't seen Party Crush, or go watch it. Also, probably click off now and come back when you've seen it, because, um, yeah. <laughs> Viperion's Powers. Hawkma. I've come to bargain. Let's see. This was from, uh, the Doctor Strange thing, right? That, that's what that's from. Yeah, because, uh, Viperion's Powers to Rewind. Okay, so you guys don't know this yet. Or, well, actually, no, you guys do know this. Because yesterday, which will have been Sunday, but it's tomorrow for me, I will have a... There's already a Viperion video up by the time you're watching this video. So if you want to go see, like, what Viperion's powers are and what episode I think he'll appear in, go check out that video uploaded yesterday. So, yeah. Also, 
don't forget to sub or soul or soothe. I don't know. Subscribe for more content. Marinette's favorite trash can for disguises, with nearly the same contents in Princess Fragrance and Party Crasher. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that that is oddly um, suspicious, I guess. But then again, they just copy and paste the same assets from scene to scene. So, but yeah, that that's a funny observation. Always uh, right when Marinette needs it, it's there. Party Crasher spoilers without context, so those of you who haven't seen Party Crasher, this this post is probably safe for you. Yep, yep, we got the YMCA thing. We got a disco-faced guy. We got, um, let's see, this guy's from The Matrix, I don't know his name. And then we got more heroes. I don't know if this is exactly from the movie Matrix, it's been a while since I've seen it. So this is probably a safe post for you guys who haven't seen Party Crasher. I'll start tweet series, I guess. New collection coming out soon, eyes, and this is from Adrian Agrest. And then Alia saying, Marinette, try not to scream. And then Marinette said, I tried and choked, I better scream next time. <laughs> uh, I wonder, this might be the same guy from last time who had like this uh, tweet thing. Because they had another one, if this is the same person, that was really funny. And, I mean... <laughs> If this is the same person, I hope you do start this as a series, because it's really funny. Gabriel will shower this random little girl with attention, but has no time for his own dang son. A little girl who thinks she's abandoned. Kids need a lot of attention. Fortunately, I'm here to give attention to her. This is true. And this is also from uh, The Puppeteer 2, because this post was seven hours ago. So, if you haven't seen The Puppeteer 2, go check it out. It was actually a decent episode. So... And uh, go check out my video that I made on it earlier. But yes, this is true. It's sad that Gabriel, you know, kind of just forgets about Adrian sometimes. It's very sad. My version of human Tiki and Ladybug. Yeah, alright, so we got a little Tiki. This Tiki is pretty huge, though. Is it just, like, scaled to show detail or something? And then we got Ladybug here. Very nice. Actually, this actually looks pretty good because I think, in my opinion, the Ladybug costume is kind of bland. It's it's literally just like a tight suit with, you know, black and red. So they should really work on it a little bit. Like, I really like the aquatic version. And if they were to, like, incorporate some of that into, like, the regular suit, that'd be cool. I don't know. I just think it needs a little bit more pop to it because it's just kind of bland at the moment, in my opinion. So, I, I don't know. Regarding episode order, producers don't care about episode order. Write Miraculous to survive episodes out of order. Producers air episodes even further out of order. Producers air episodes even further out of order. Yeah, it's funny because Miraculous is supposed to be the show to where like, oh, you can play any episode in any order, or at least that's what season one and two were. And then season three kind of rolls around, you know, you know, the first uh, half of the season comes out and it's like, all right, order doesn't really matter. And then second half is like, okay, we got to at least care a little bit about the order. And then it's like, nah, just throw, you know, one of the later episodes, like six episodes ahead. And it's like, ah, what are you doing? So... I think we just got unlucky with Party Crasher, because, I mean, it was out of order, but like, that was a really big episode to have out of order, and the fact that it was out of order, it's kind of sad. They should really just have someone that's like a fan of Miraculous just on the team, or you know what, even better, just have be more strict about the episode order. But, like, I w what I was just saying earlier is that they should just have somebody who's a fan of the show just watch it before they air it and be like, okay, this is a little out of order, let's wait to air it and just air something else. Because they, you know, who knows? You know, they had the puppeteer too. They could have just aired that before. It's not like it would have made any difference. But I'm just saying they had it, so what's not to say they have other episodes too and they just happen to air Party Crasher. So I think this is more of a problem on Zag without being so strict on, like, the episode order. Because they probably could and just be like, hey, make sure to air the episodes in order versus just out of order but they don't so i don't know if that's something that zag can fix hopefully if season four picks up on that continuity then they will hopefully strive to fix it but at this point in time i don't really know was looking through some pictures of max to get a better look at his miraculous outfit but i came across the picture and one omg what is his hair it's awesome xd two kim seems to have a different hoodie and three look at marinette's hair uh oh let's see what this is yeah, this was from, I mean, I'm pretty sure this was from Reflect-A-Doll, 
right? That's what that episode was from. But yeah, a lot of people want to see Marinette with a different hairstyle. And there's actually one episode, can't remember what it is, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with Adrian and Marinette going to a dance or something. But it's them, and Marinette has her hair down and she's wearing a dress. I think Jeremy Zag said something about that. Spoilers for uh, if you didn't want to. It's kind of late for that now. But like, uh, basically, we'll be seeing Marinette with a different like long hair versus just at the ponytails. So, I mean, look forward to that probably in season four. I'd be really surprised if they did it in season three. But you know what? Who knows? You know, you never know what to expect. It be like that. Master Fu and Party Crasher. Yep, just throwing out those uh, miraculous boxes there, Master Fu. Why are you carrying around the miracle box just out in the open? That doesn't seem very good. I mean, like, uh, what if it gets stolen? Like, your cooler could have just been gone, or someone could have opened it being like, hey, I want a drink, and then be like, whoa, wait a minute, what's this down there? That doesn't seem like it should be in there. You know, not very uh, good. I feel like we're going to see a lot of Master Fu memes in this, because it's like... Wow, Master Fu, calm down a little bit there, man. I don't make memes often, but this is all I could think of during Party Crasher. Ladybug gets sucked into a disco ball. Brand new heroes take her place. Cat Noir already knows them. Cat Noir already knows them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just like a funny thing, talking about the order, because Cat Noir already met them beforehand, and that's why he already knew them, so... Yeah, that that's another order joke as far as like, oh, the episodes is out of order, how did Ken already know them? So, that's what this is referring to. Marinette Sly as Frick took a photo of Adrian on her desktop while she was practicing during the gamer. To be honest, I prefer her original desktop pic. <laughs> this looks so weird. I Like, I don't know, it just looks so out of place. Anyone else feel that? <laughs> like... Uh, I mean, maybe it's not her desktop because I don't see any like desktop icons, but like maybe she just has like a photo slideshow going on at all times. Her and the puppeteer too was really funny. Like that one photo, she had some really good expressions and it was, it made me laugh a lot. Go check out that, uh, that vid episode. Go, go watch the puppeteer too if you haven't seen it already. So, um, Luca has the power of dot dot dot. Marin, okay, Luca, but just once. I still didn't decide between you and Adrian. Luca, second chance. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Because you, you get it? Because, like, Luca wanted to make sure that Marinette gets the, him. Yeah. You see, you don't explain memes, but when I do it, it ruins everything. So, you know what? I'll probably just let you guys figure it out, and I'll just laugh at it. How about that? Mr. Pigeon has his priorities straight. We got worried when you stopped coming to the park. Moral. Whomever you're important to will look for you. Well, I believe you mean Monsieur Rat. Or, I, I don't know, I can't do that R thing. Mr. Rat. Um, because as far as that, was it Miracular? As far as Miracular, he is now Mr. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't Miracular, it was Time Tagger. It's Time Tagger. Because as far as Time Tagger, he was now Mr. Rat. So... I mean, I feel like we have seen him actually with pigeons, like, after, as far as, like, the episode order, so, I don't know, like, I'm pretty sure those episodes that we saw him in there, just with some pigeons, it was before Time Tagger, as far as in the episode timeline, but it aired after Time Tagger, anyway, confusing, they should really just, like, set in stone the episode order, it makes it more enjoyable for all of us, but, yeah. Here's art by De Rouge on Tumblr I commissioned for my Family Switch AU story. Link in comments. Aw oh, look, there's Gabriel and Marinette, and then Sabine, Tom, and uh, Lu Luca, Adrian. So my guess is this fanfic is about like a swap as if like Marinette was born with Gabriel and then Adrian... Huh. That sounds interesting. Um, the link to the subreddit's down in the description below, so if you want to, like, go find this post, um, just go check it out. It was posted two days ago, so it shouldn't be too hard to track down if you're interested in that fan fiction, but, uh, yeah. Very cool. Self. Double kill. Smiley face. Uh-oh, we got one of these Twitter things. I like these. Ladybug. Just want to clear something up. Me and at Cat Noir are not a couple, period. And then Adrian says, Really? Such a shame. You're cute together. Why don't you try first? 
Ladybug said, did you just dash dash? <laughs> oh, I love these. Oh, this is by the same guy. Yes. You know, you keep doing this. Um, the Odorak. Odorak? The Odorak. I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. You keep doing those. These are really funny. Um, if you, like I said earlier, the uh, subreddit link is down in the description below. So if you're interested in like creating your own post, go ahead and check that out because we need more people on this miraculous subreddit so that we can keep this series alive because this post only has 400 upvotes and it should have over 2,000. Um, there might not even be that many people watching this video. I don't know. Anyway, go check out the sub. Link is down in the description. Party Crasher Climax in a nutshell. Nobody. Miraculous holders just dancing all over the place. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. Because they had to dance. A lot of these posts have been about Party Crasher, so I'm really looking for it. There's going to be so many posts about like the Adrianette stuff next week. And I like I'm just looking forward to it cuz it'll be super interesting to see like what people say and like what memes there are. You know, there better be just some funny photos of Marinette's face cuz her face was so funny. All right, third post of uh, the week. Finally visited the Zag store in Santa Monica and picked up a few miraculous goodies. Heart, heart. Oh, check it out. There's the earrings and then um, Queen Bee's miraculous. That looks very cool. Uh, I guess this is like the official stuff because it's um, you know the Zag store. So I mean, yeah. You know, sometimes I wish I was near a Zag store, but I'm not. So. You know what? I'll just stick to, you know, Amazon. I'll probably get some new shirts because this this shirt and then the one that I wore last week is the only miraculous stuff I have. So I might try to pick something else up. And then uh, for Star stuff, I I ordered two shirts. I might need to get more for this series. I don't know, but yeah, very cool. Final Fantasy X and miraculous crossover art I found. You see, I don't know. I, I've never played Final Fantasy, so I don't get it. But, I mean, the fan art looks cool, I guess. I can't appreciate it to its fullest extent. I'm sorry, I haven't seen um, this. But, did you leave the uh, the credit of the, the uh, art person? The the art artist? <laughs> That's who it is, the artist, not the art person, the artist. Um, I don't know, I can't tell who the artist is. But uh, very cool, I guess. I, I can't enjoy it to its fullest extent because I don't know what Final Fantasy is. Well, I know it's a game, I think. It better be a game because if not, I just look so stupid. But um, yeah, Final Fantasy and Miraculous Ladybug, if you're a fan of both of those, you can probably appreciate this more than I can. And for the top host of the week, Master Fu needs to chill. Or it's not, it's not Master, it's Mr. Fu needs to chill. You get a miraculous, you get a miraculous, everyone gets a miraculous. Yes, this was um, Oprah, you know, we saw in the other post, like one of the earlier posts. So, yeah, it's funny that somebody actually made this. And the Master Fu heads actually uh, match up pretty well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Master Fu is a little crazy in this episode. Not gonna lie. Master Fu, you need to chill it out a little bit, alright? You know. People will get their miraculouses in time, and you just start handing them out all over the place. But uh, yeah. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this subreddit. If you enjoyed, you can uh, leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this every single Monday, Miraculous Monday. Stay tuned for uh, more episodes of this series. Go upvote some posts on this subreddit so we can, you know, get this fandom alive and stuff. I don't know, I'll also have to look into reacting to a Twitter, not Twitter, Tumblr. Um, I don't really know anything about Tumblr, like I said last time, I think. So, yeah, I, I don't know, I'll look into it, I guess, and maybe we can switch to Tumblr if we need to. Right now, I think this is fine, but um, yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. Whoops, wrong way. But uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Did you want? <laughs> uh, wiki, wiki.